Hi, this is Yushin from Replo. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a add to cart action on any Replo page. Um, so what I'm going to do is start by going to components and searching for product. I'm going to drag out a product section. And because Replo is already integrated with Shopify, it already knows about all the products in my store. So if I go to online store here, it's going to show me all the products that are in my store. And I'm going to set this to um, this mixed roast box here. Um, and it's going to automatically pull out the product title, um, the product price, as well as any images I have on my product that is set up on my Shopify backend. Um, but here I have this add to cart button and Replo already intelligently sets this up for me where it will add the current product to the cart, which is this mixed roast box, but I'm going to delete it and pretend like it's not there and set it up from scratch. So what I would do is go to this button, click interactions and click on click. Basically what I wanted to do is when I, whenever someone clicks on this button, I want it to add a product to the cart. Um, and it doesn't quite know which product to add. So I'm going to use this dynamic data selector and say, I want to add the current variants. And this is super helpful if your product has different sizes or different colors. Whenever a user chooses which size or color to add, it will add that variance um, into the cart for you. Replo will automatically also choose the selected quantity as well. So if you have a quantity selector and the user picks, you know, I want five things or six things, um, it will automatically add that number to the cart as well. And it also has some very useful toggles here. So you can automatically redirect to the cart after someone clicks, um, which is really great for conversion rate, or you can automatically go to checkout as well. So I'm, I'm going to actually toggle this on because whenever someone um, clicks on this button, I want to actually just redirect them directly to checkout. So once I save this, it's going to update. And now whenever someone clicks on that button, um, it's going to take them directly to the checkout with that product added to the cart already. So this is just a super useful way to add really cool interactions in your Replo page. And, you know, typically this would take a ton of code to do, but um, Replo just makes that really easy. So let us know if you have any questions, but see you in the Replo community. Thanks.